Well, so then that there, uh, Le Drian, the uh, Interior Minister, rather the Minister of Defense, speaking about what we saw, what happened in terms of the Sentinel force and the operation. Once again, uh, that man, the attacker, has been shot and killed. No one else injured in the airport. Now, for more on what we've seen today, we're going to speak with Ricardo Boretsky from the European Center for Information Policy and Security. Thank you for joining us here on the program. I would like to ask you, uh, taking into account what we know know at this stage, what do you make of the events that unfolded today? Well, you know, we have said in the past uh, that um, uh, radicalization will more than likely increase. We were correct in our assessment. We have said in the past, uh, over the last two years, uh, that uh, terror attacks more than likely will increase. And subsequently, we were absolutely correct in our assessment. And again, I can say, that present the, the situation in Europe, and not only in Europe, we foresee will get worse in future. And there's simple basic factors for that. There's not only linked to terrorism, but also to issues related to austerity and pressure that is put on the public communities in different forms and different ways. The biggest risk is that we can't see or can't foresee the outcome of what such a cultural war will lead to. Indeed. Now, we are waiting on more information about uh, this attacker in terms of his full identity. That has not been given. But we, it does appear that this was not a, a well-organized uh, attack, if we can say that. Well, in general, most attacks is not well-organized, which is a kind of trade. But at the same time, we have to ask the question, where will this all lead to? What is the solutions? And why is these attacks continuing individually and in groups? And what we have seen clearly is that they are continuing in individual form. Um, lone wolves, as one would say that. The real danger here is that uh, many more lone wolves could emerge from the public sector in the future. And the question is how to solve and resolve these issues. And thank you very much for joining us here on the program. Ricardo Bretsky, we do appreciate it. Thank you. Well, let's get an update.